my name's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So if you've been watching this channel for a while now, you will know that I predominantly talk about investing and what I am doing with my own personal investment portfolio. But I decided at the start of 2022 that I actually wanted to do some kind of investing qualification. So I set about deciding which qualification would be the one that was right for me. And I have passed my exam in it, which I'm really, really pleased about. The reason that I decided to do this exam is because as you know, I invest for myself and for my family. And I felt that although I was really, really interested in it and had read a lot of books about investing already, I wanted to have a nice baseline qualification, which meant that I understood all of the fundamentals that went into investing and also into wealth management, just so that I knew I was doing the best job for myself and that there weren't any kind of black holes of information that I was missing. And also to hopefully make better videos for you in the future as well. So the investment that I did was a CISI one, which stands for the Chartered Institute for securities and investments. And the qualification that I decided to do was the International Certificate in Wealth and Investment Management. So here is the textbook for that qualification that I have just completed and I have done the exam and passed the exam, which I'm really, really pleased with. It was a two hour exam and the study time that was recommended for this qualification is 154 hours. Obviously, if you've done a lot of investing and you understand investing very well before, it might not take you so long. Or if you're very new to investing and you wanted to do a kind of baseline qualification like this, then it might take you the full 154 hours. So what I really liked about reading this book and studying for this exam is obviously this is for the Chartered Institute here in the UK. And I really liked that there was no kind of skew to the information that was provided. So I wasn't reading a book that had a specific agenda or I wasn't reading an article that had a specific agenda pushing you towards certain things. It was a nice, solid, factual qualification to do. So there are over 400 pages in this textbook and it covers a broad range of wealth and investment management information. So the eight chapters within this book are the financial financial services sector, industry regulation, asset classes, collective investments, fiduciary relationships, economics and investment analysis, investment management, lifetime financial provisions. Those are the eight sections and I was particularly interested in the economics and investment analysis and the investment management section. So those were the sections that I felt that I learned the most from and that were most useful for me in my own personal investing journey. So although I did study maths at school, that was almost 20 years ago now, and there was no economics option available for A-level at the school that I went to, and my degree is not finance or investment related. So I really wanted to find a qualification that was really concentrated in investment and wealth management. So for me, this was perfect. So as I said, the areas that most interested me were the economics and investment analysis, and that covered everything from macroeconomic theory, central banks, microeconomic theory, statistics, financial mathematics, fundamentals and technical analysis, yields and ratios and valuations. So those were all areas that I felt that I needed to learn more about. So I was really, really pleased to see that they were covered in great detail in this exam. And then the second section that I was particularly interested in was the investment management section. So that covered everything from portfolio construction theories, investment strategies, the role of asset classes and funds in a portfolio, risk and return and performance measurement. So those are obviously already things that I'm looking at at the moment when building my own personal portfolio, but it was really, really interesting to understand more about the theories around different portfolio construction and to make sure that I am building a portfolio that is diverse, that is at a risk level that I'm comfortable with and that I understand risk in greater detail than I did previously. So as I said, for me, a real positive with taking this exam and doing the studying for this exam was that I wanted to understand investment in greater detail. Obviously, in the last few weeks and months, the market has been particularly volatile. And what I really liked about doing this course alongside seeing that volatility was that it made me feel 
more comfortable in my long-term investment choices and in not selling them. So I learned a lot about fiscal policy, monetary policy. There was also sections on inflation, deflation, stagflation. So there was a lot to learn, but it definitely made me have a greater understanding around what is happening with the markets at the moment. I still absolutely do not know what's gonna happen with the markets in the future and no one really does, but it did help me to feel more confident in my long-term investments, which was a real positive of doing this. So please do let me know in the comments down below if there's any sections from this qualification that you'd be particularly interested in hearing about. So maybe you're interested in say technical analysis or maybe you are interested in portfolio construction theories. Um, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you would like me to cover in this video. As always, I still am absolutely not an expert in this field. I still have a lot to learn. I'll still be reading more books and taking more exams in the future um, to try and understand more and more about this sector. But yeah, if there's anything you'd like to know, please do pop it in the comments down below. And thank you so very much for taking the time to watch. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.